But elsewhere, the Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims, Supkem, has called on all Muslims around the country to embark on rallies after Friday prayers to protest forceful disappearance and kidnappings allegedly perpetrated against Muslims over time. This pronouncement by Supkem Chairperson Hassan Olenado comes after lawyer and Muslim scholar Professor Hassan Nandwa was set free 11 days after he was abducted in Nairobi. At the Jamia Mosque in Nairobi, Muslim leaders in the country alongside officials from the Law Society of Kenya and human rights organizations converged to pressure the government to reveal the whereabouts of Muslim scholar Kam lawyer Hassan Nandwa who had been kidnapped 11 days ago. But before the press conference kick-started, word spread that Nandwa had been found dumped at Mwingi in Kitui County at 1 a.m. by his kidnappers. Nandwa had been abducted by people believed to be police officers after his client, a self-confessed terrorist El Giva Buire, was released from Kamiti Maximum Prison. After serving his 10-year sentence, Buire was convicted of a terror attack in Nairobi in 2011. After we received the news, we dispatched him one who practices in Wingi and has this morning met Professor Nandwa and confirms that he is safe with his family members in Wingi. This notwithstanding, as a law society of Kenya, we do condemn in the strongest terms possible the abduction, mysterious disappearances, not only of our members, but also of Kenyans. Buire is still missing with the LSK and human rights organizations mounting pressure on the government to release him. The LSK has already moved to court to propel the government to produce him. LSK says they believe Buire was abducted by police officers and is in the custody of the state. There is strong, irrefutable, circumstantial evidence that Mr. Buire is in the hands of the state or its agents. We abhor in the strongest of terms any action by the state or non-state purporting to curtail justice or infringe on the rights and freedoms of any Kenyan. Muslim leaders have announced that beginning Friday after the evening prayers, Muslim faithful in the country will hold peaceful protests to condemn the enforced disappearances affecting Muslim Muslims in the country. Supkem argues that lawyer Hassan Nando's length of detention by his captors was informed by his staunch Muslim faith. In Nairobi, a rally will be held outside Yamia Mosque after Friday prayers and a similar program will be held at Magadara grounds in Mombasa. The events will be addressed by various Muslim leaders. Kenya is governed by law. Kenya is governed by constitution. No one above the law. If anyone commits a crime against you, then the state has a right to take you to the court. Nandwa, who has since been reunited with his family, is yet to speak with reports indicating that he was instructed by his captors not to talk of his ordeal, where he was held, by whom, and the nature of his abduction, as well as the questioning he went through. Mwangi Maina, TV 47, Nairobi.